So Pastor Mukuba exposed herself, really trying to put the blame of the deception that's going around on people. So she wanted to blame the people and says, no, there's no deception. <laughs> I'm like, why? What was the, the point of this? Like, she didn't even have to expose herself because she did. And I'm going to show you how she exposed herself. Now, why do I say she exposed herself? It's because it attacks what she's claiming here, attacks her own type of doctrine, the type of things that she teaches. That's why we always say, man, rely on the scripture. Don't just follow these people because some of these man them dodgy man business for days. It's the actuality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time of a year to be sure, check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I'm going to check you out over there. And so we're going to talk about it. This is the clip um, that one of you sent me. So thank you very much. Highly appreciate it. I would have not seen it. And so listen to what she says. Then I'm going to show you examples that she is exposing herself and she's exposing that her doctrine is false. Interesting. So, what did Pastor Mukuba say? People tell each other lies and they spread these lies so much. And mm. these days, people do not care whether they are seeing God or not. They mm. are just after their own things. If you look at it, here in South Africa there is this outcry. People go like, hey, pastors are robbing people of their money, they are deceiving people. There is no deception going on. I don't believe that, that there is deception. I see people who want what they want, they don't care who they get it from. They just don't care. Whether they get it from the pit of hell or from the hand of the devil, it's okay with them. There is no deception going on. Whether it doesn't matter. I don't care who I get it from. I want what I want. The, mm. So because they are you know, they have a full set of teeth. They're all thirty two of them. Is it thirty three? How many are they? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you say for for a person who's fully matured. By the way, the group is almost finished. Uh, it's almost full for the discipleship group. I think we are only left with like five people from the time when I said to now. There was like just a flood of about 20, 30 people that went in. So we're gonna open the group now. At a hundred, I'm gonna have to close it so that. I can focus solely on that and then the next uh, discipleship group will be way after that. So save the number even if this group is full so that you will be alert when the second group comes up because that's the, that's the first place where I'm going to push it out. That's what that's the first place where the link will be. And so this this group it's for scriptural understanding of a Christian's walk. That's what we are studying from salvation all the way up. So as you're going, don't get duped. They start blaming you for things. <laughs> so go over them. Even if the main group gets full, I will then make an additional group for the second one, even though I might not start teaching that one right now. But discipleship, as I've stated, it's very different from preaching because in this one, it's a, it's a subject of maturity. Now, if you don't believe in the doctrine that we preach on the live streams here, don't join there because it's not a debate. <laughs> okay, Debate, come to the live stream on Saturday. That's not a debate. It's a teaching class thing. So, so that you get away from people telling you and blaming you. They teach something. Then they go contrary and then blame you. It says, oh, no, there's no deception here. <laughs> now, I'll let her finish her statement, then I'll show you the the contradictions here. I get it from. Says you are lying. So 
So she says, no, it's lies. It's only lies. There's it's no, there's no deception. You people just going after what you want. I'll give you an example of a deception. This is a deception. Apostle Mathala telling people that walking through that door, things are, their life is just going to change. Their life will never be the same. What about that? There's no deception? There's no deception. No deception. People were made to pay to pass. Now, I don't know if they, may, they were made to pay here, but within many contexts, people teach things and then deceive people to feel like or to think that they are speaking. There's no deception. Okay, no problem. Now, I got questions because there are things that Pastor Mukuba has preached herself that I would ask. In this particular video here published on a page and you can see when it was published it was published roughly about the 13th you can see the date over them right if you listen to what they are talking about over there they can't. Not not tonight. Hey, not hmm. tonight. get out of this way right now, right now. if they were used to Stopping your things. Okay, so the demons, according to her doctrine, the demons are stopping people's things. Oh, okay. Continue. They can't anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Whether it be witches or demons, whichever one she be, but that's a teaching. That's what she teaches. They cannot. Oh. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Go, go. So witchcraft will be you have to go somewhere. So progress basically. So who were you addressing? Or oh, this idea of the spirits or witchcraft hindering people and stuff. Who is that you were talking about? There's no deception. There's no manipulation. Oh, okay. No problem. Let's go to another one. Let's go to a different video. This one is published, as you can see there, it's published around uh, 2020 uh, in September, you can see, right? So in this one, let's read the, 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 the caption down in the description box. This is what it says. The Lord shall restore everything that the enemy has stolen from you and your family. Oh, okay. I thought there was nothing being stolen. I thought there was no deception. I thought there was no manipulation from the other kingdom. I thought it's just these people that are just going. They are just going by themselves. You guys remember the importance. I've been talking about this. When I made the episode about Christ Embassy. And I spoke about how their reaction to the building burning. If you remember, I mentioned this thing. When they have a loss, they speak about it a certain way. But then when it's your loss, there's a, de there's a devil, there's a demon, you must sow seed, you must do what. It's different when it comes to you. So now why is it now when people are being said to, lose, to be losing things from false prophets under deception? Oh no, there's no deception. It's everything she preaches. Everything. There it is. The devil, whatever they've stolen from your family, double portion. What is your doctrine then if there's no deception? It's just a fault of the person. Next one. Let's go to her channel then. All right. Y'all see the, that's Pastor Mukuba's channel there. Look at how many times the subject of restoration. Ankeri, we just established. There's nothing being stolen. You just like things, you are getting them from the devil. Okay, let's see the titles. Restoration, just three years back, a year ago. A couple of years back, a year ago, a year ago. Restoration, this restoration, restoration, restoration. It's her entire doctrine. I thought there's nobody taking anything. There's no deception anyway. Oh no, it's fine. Let's go to the next one. This is the next one where... This one is published when about a year ago in Mokopani. When she was in Mokopani. The fire! The fire! You cannot be 
be used by the demons anymore. It stops. They cannot fly with you at night anymore. It stops. You cannot work for them anymore. It oh. stops right now. Oh, okay. So we just established the people who are working and the demons are taking the spirits and the what all her entire doctrine falls apart. Okay, no, maybe we should go back. Listen to what she said. <laughs> that ain't me. That ain't me. There's no deception in South Africa. That's what she said. Go on, and they spread these lies so much. Mm. And these days, people do not care whether they are seeing God or not. They are just after their own things. If you look at it, here in South Africa, there is this outcry. People go like, hey, pastors are robbing people of their money. They are deceiving people. There is no deception going on. I don't believe that, that there is deception. I see people who want what they want. They don't care who they get it from. They just don't care. When so, no problem. So, what were you restoring in this? On the, it's your entire doctrine. <laughs> It's her entire doctrine. You say, learn, learn the Bible. Stop following because they say deliverance, what not. It's important to have your mind completely on the Bible. On what the Bible says about your situation. How, what the Bible instructs about where you are, your growth, your maturity. Your relationship with material things and all these things. The Bible instructs us in all these things. It's important. To don't learn from these people. Because they'll mislead you. Today it's your fault. Today, th th this preaching that she did, it completely exposes that her doctrine has no foundation. It's like that. It's the Rikshuari show. With the daily Christian commentary. Now, if you didn't hear anything, it's okay. <laughs> yes, you see. You are still there. They are still dribbling you. Pa, pa, pa. Tomorrow, they'll be telling you, come for restoration. Come for deliverance. The, 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 the demons that have stolen from you. They were, the very same thing that she said, there's no such a thing. She said that herself. Oh, I'll play it again. Context is everything. Because we're saying, the subject is that these pastors are using divination and strange spirits in order for them to come and say these things. Her message is restoring from the devil, blah, blah, blah. Like, blah. hey, pastors are robbing people of their money. They are deceiving people. There is no deception going on. I don't believe that, that there is deception. I see people who want what they want. They don't care who they get it from. They just don't care. Whether they get it from the pit of hell or from the hand of the devil, it's okay with them. There is no deception going on. There's no one who is being deceived. Like I showed. There's all these examples. This is one of them. This is just one example. These people are being made to believe that walking through that door will have any particular reflection on their, on their life. It's not deception. So what's her doctrine about? Now again, I repeat. If you didn't hear anything or you think there's not... Uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. We were not talking to you. <laughs> he can relax and go back to your life. We are clearly not talking to you. But if you have ears, you will hear. It contradicts everything that she preaches. It's Ricky. They don't have to be accountable for nothing. It's you. It's your fault. 